Alrighty, hey, 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 my uh, December daily friends. A welcome to my December daily project. We are on day three, or you know, we're crawling through here. We're we're crawling, but I feel like I could get a couple of stories done in the next day or so. Uh, catch up a little bit. It's day eleven. <laughs> It's all good. Uh, this was day two. Uh, this process video is up. Nothing big other than a good tutorial on how I did this one. We are on the back of this tag. We're going to leave this because I like this. Um, we are going to make this into a pocket though and put some pictures. We are doing a story of my son's Sweet 16 um, his birthday actually falls on November 30th, but um, we did not really celebrate until the 3rd uh, because, unfortunately, my husband had to work. So, um, but I am incorporating pictures from his birthday and the 3rd um, and just making it like a birthday story. Usually, somehow, his birthday gets into my uh, <clears throat> December daily since obviously it's like the day before December. Um, so yeah, it should be another pretty easy story. I am pretty much, uh, going along with the whole page photo spreads pretty much, <laughs> um, full page photo, full page photo, and we have another full page photo. Um, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, the fourth was my son had a, um, fundraiser and I don't know how I'm going to do that one quite yet uh, I'm still trying to figure that out but let's get started on this this should be pretty easy I've already put my journaling on here which I'm super mad because I didn't change the font of my journaling to a typewriter font I really don't want to waste the paper to print it all back out so we're just gonna leave it um I'm going to try not to be that picky. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's put you on fast forward. And hey guys, so let's jump into this right away. We're just cutting this down. So if you can't see completely, I know this is a di bit of a different picture, but you know, 16 year old boys aren't like so hip into taking pictures. So uh, this is a picture of him um, shoving his Chick-fil-A sandwich that he got on his lunch break. Um, I picked him up from school, um, to go get some Chick-fil-A, which, um, we just recently got this Chick-fil-A in, in town and it was his first time going. So it was kind of, you know, like a little double whammy. So, um, but yeah, so it's like him in the background, you know, cause they don't like to be in pictures and blah, 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 you know, 16 year old boys. <laughs> it's okay. Most of the time he does, uh, he, he is very good about being in my pictures and just smiling and getting it over with. It's his little brother that just doesn't like to smile yet. All right. Um, then I also noticed like after I was done with this, that I ended up putting three stars at the top. I didn't really even plan that. I just, you know, kind of happened. Uh, but hey, it was a happy coincidence, right? But I am layering these stars again. I believe this is 2021. Maybe this was 2022. Maybe this was the mini star kit. I don't remember, guys. There's a lot of stuff that's mixed in to my, to my supplies. <laughs> that's why I'm trying to use them. So, so good uh, for me for using my supplies. Look at me go. I used four stars here I think so yay um, I also used a number and a tag look at that I used a lot of my in-house stash so yay okay uh, so yeah so we're on the back of this um, I was just gonna punch my holes like I said I already put that text on there it was just random text it's nothing big um, I do have two more three by four pictures that I am going to throw into this pocket um, it wasn't anything big um, but I didn't want to waste another piece of paper um, just putting two three by fours I'm going through a ton of paper right now and um, I'm just trying to spare it and I am going to be working on day four anyways right after this I just did not have it um, 
designed and I wanted to get at least one done and I know that's that's what I'm doing here so all right want to make a vellum pocket so I was trying to test out several vellums with how busy the background was I was like yeah no I should probably just do regular vellum so it looked best trying to find a spot for this three it was like just a touch too big but you know what I was gonna I was like yeah I'm gonna make it work I just I want to use this I haven't used these yet I'm gonna make that work so here I am thinking 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 um and then we are going to throw this into the sewing machine all right so we are going to throw this through the sewing machine here just some white thread um sorry it doesn't show up all that great there's just no good way to do this so i kind of th fly through this part um i did a pretty decent job sewing though today especially since you know my husband was kind of down here bothering me <laughs> he is you doing his first time amazon shopping for christmas and he was struggling um and he doesn't want me to see it because it's gifts for me and yeah it's just a whole debacle so all right yes yeah, so these two pictures one is from his birthday actual day of when he wanted um froyo so like kind of like on my boys birthdays i let them decide pretty much what they want for lunch breakfast and dinner um and maybe dessert <laughs> um and just let them get what they want uh he didn't have breakfast i took him out to lunch uh, for dinner to be or for i took him out to lunch to chick-fil-a what did we have for dinner i don't remember and then um he wanted froyo so that was perfect and then dad finally was able to meet up with us late that night to get froyo um using some red line tape to put this three down you're going to notice that i put way too much red line tape down because the three is actually going to come off the vellum and i don't want it to stick to you know the background or the pictures so eventually i take some of this off but um if i would have thought about it i probably would have stitched it onto the vellum and then stitched the vellum onto the paper but i didn't think about that there we go you don't need to see me fight with that so <coughs> put that down and then i am just going to do some slight embellishing to these pictures and by slight i mean add a label i didn't want to use one of the regular labels i wanted to use those december stickers that i've had from ellie's studio for oh gosh two years now maybe um i got those never used them and so i was like hey this is the perfect time to do that there we go oh see my husband was talking to me and i ended up shutting off the camera because i needed my phone it was a whole debacle anyways i just stamped it cut it out fussy cut it i stamped it twice put them back to back fussy cut them out one says december 3rd the other one says party because that was his little gift basket uh again because 16 year old boys are the worst to shop for so he got a gift basket with all of his favorites and honestly he loved it and my little guy was like hey where was mine because their birthdays are about a month apart and i'm like oh you wanted one of these so yeah so just a label um from studio calico as you can see i have tons of these i've just put them all with a clamp together so that i have them all and i just put all of my labels in here so that i can shuffle through those there we go and i literally put like froyo at night or something like that and a gift basket or something literally nothing nothing crazy all right guys and that's pretty much gonna wrap it up um that was like i said easy a peasy a look at this under 10 minute video um i was going to put this with day four but day four we are gonna have another tutorial so be on the lookout for that it is already done so i should have it up pretty soon definitely hit that like button and i will see you next time